So now let's bring in Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan, who happens to be the ranking member of the House Judiciary. Congressman, thank you for joining us. And, and uh, Senator uh, Grassley just told us about this whole issue about whistleblowers now talking about there's an FBI person, and he called him Mr. Tebow. I'm not sure what that was his real name or not, who was deciding who gets uh, additional scrutiny yeah. under, under F, uh, additional FBI scrutiny. He's out. Who's in? Congressman, I can't wait till you get the gavel, because this bull has to stop. Sorry, yeah. this is my French. <laughs> Tell us what's going on, my friend. Well, no, and, I, and it's, it is part of a larger concern, obviously, the whole political nature of the Justice Department. And now we've had over a dozen FBI agents come forward as whistleblowers talking to us about this issue, to, to Senator Grassley, talking to our office about the school boards targeting moms and dads, treating them as if they're domestic terrorists, talking to us about concerns about January 6th and a host of other issues. So uh, this is a real concern. And as the Judiciary Committee, charged with protecting the Constitution, the rule of law, equal treatment under the law, uh, we got to get to the bottom of all this and make sure the American people have the truth and have the facts. If the American people put us in the majority, we're going to do just that. Well, they're going to do that, sir. They're going to do it, and you're going to hold that gavel. And I can't wait to see some of the people, some of the characters, the shenanigans characters you, you bring up to, to testify. Sir, uh, Depart uh, Attorney General Merrick Garland, I guess, let the cat out of the bag earlier today, saying that there is, in fact, an FBI investigation on, on President Trump. What are your thoughts of that? I mean, this is scary. This is truly frightening for our country. And this is like the kind of stuff you see in some banana republic where you go after the, the guy who was in office beforehand. Um, look, I, I, again, I think it just underscores the whole political nature of the January 6th committee, the whole political nature of the FBI uh, and, and the Justice Department with what we've seen with, with parents, with what we've seen on so many issues, like what we just talked about with Senator Grassley brings up today. Um, uh, look, I just think this is, is is not healthy for our great nation, our great country, and the people who make up this country to have a Justice Department focused on politics instead of the rule of law, instead of, as I said before, following the Constitution and, and, and the principles that equal treatment under the law. There's always this double standard. We saw it during the whole Trump Russia with McCabe and Strzok and Page and Comey and all the things they did. So th we're tired of this. The country's tired of this. Let's hope it stops. You know, and, and I think during those whole hearings, what matters was your cross-examination, Congressman. People like you who, who wanted to say, hey, wait a minute, what about this? And, and then some of the truth started to come out. There's no one like you on that committee. Tell our audience exactly how that went down. Uh, House Minority Leader McCarthy well, recommended you yeah. to, to be on that committee. And they said no. How can they say no, sir? Well, this is the first time in history you got a congressional committee where there's not the ability to cross examination, to have cross examination. There's there's no there's no opposition, so you're only getting one side of the story. That's not how our system works. There's a great uh, a great uh, a passage in in Proverbs. Proverbs 18:17 says, "The first to present his case seems right until another comes and question him, uh, questions him." So that's the whole point of our adversarial system is you have to have cross examination. But now, for the first time in American history, we have a committee where that's not permitted. There there is no opposition. Nine people on this committee, every single one of them voted to impeach President Trump. There's only one position. And we've caught them, Eric, in eight different lies. We caught them lying about Bernie Carrick, uh travel plans. We caught them lying about Barry Loudermilk giving a tour. We caught them lying about Jenna Ellis's documents. We caught them lying about Eric Hirschman's note. We caught them lying about the Secret Service. We caught them lying about me twice. When a, a text message I forwarded, they changed it all. They put up a video and clipped a big part of it, uh, the video off, the most important part. So, And then we caught them with this, it looks like a lie about Pat Cipollone and what he allegedly said. They didn't even ask him about that. What Cassie Hutchinson said, he said they didn't even ask Pat Cipollone that when he was deposed. And his lawyer said if they would have, he'd have told him it wasn't true what she said. So that's we, we've caught him in eight different lies, and we don't get to see the evidence. We don't get to see the transcripts or the video or all the documents they have. So imagine how many other things they're not telling us the truth about that we have no idea of. So that is the problem when you have just one side of the argument being made and no ability to cross-examine. Yeah, and, and, and as you point out, nine members all with a, pretty much the same opinion of the guy they're investigating, nodding their head with no follow-up, no follow-up question, yes, but, none of that, no cross-examination, but not even follow-up from a friendly source. It, it's, 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 it's a miscarriage of American justice. Congressman Jim Jordan, always good having you. We will stay with this. Get you back real soon, my friend. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Eric.
Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. I want to tell you about the Patriot Gold Group. But first, let me tell you that the S&P has already lost $8.2 trillion in 2022. Did you know that? Peak inflation is not even hit despite the Fed rate hikes on groceries, on gas. You know it as well as I do. Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs are warning of another 20% drop. Inflation is winning in a knockout right now. The Fed is going to raise rates again at the end of July. Meanwhile, Goldman, Wells Fargo, and Bloomberg are all forecasting gold to surpass all-time highs. If you want to invest in gold, call 888-936-2373 now. Call the Patriot Gold Group today and ask about their No Fee for Life IRA. Sounds like a good deal, don't it? Here's the number, 888-936-2373, 888-936-2373 for the Patriot Gold Group. 